Hey guys. <laughs> hey shawty, damn. Hey guys. Found this fine ass mama seat down the road. Yeah, work a baby. Damn. Mm. You gonna make me trip. Oh, oh I'm gonna just trip for ya. Just on the way to the train station. Where are we going, sugar? We're just gonna go into town <laughs> and have a look at Melbourne. Just a random, spontaneous day. I said to myself before I put the camera on, I was like, don't just say hey guys, like say something different, because I always say hey guys. So let's do that again. Kia ora! Fakalo <laughs> falahiatu! Welcome to vlog number five! Yeah, yeah, vlog number five. Five, five, stay alive. So random. That's a flight attendant term, actually. If you know, you know. Anyways, vlog number five, it's actually a random one because I had a marketing course and I was gonna vlog the marketing course because I thought it would just help out people in business because marketing was kind of like a thing in business that I didn't really think about or didn't really have a clue about, like how much you need to know about marketing to have a business. So I thought I would do that to help people out, but the marketing course just really didn't go to plan. And if you've got me on social media, you would have seen that I had all the gears, but just no idea. <laughs> I left my um, battery charging at home. So that was not good. Luckily, um, me and Mets, we actually went into town, into Melbourne City a couple weeks ago and we vlogged it. It was just real random and it was just a really fun day. And so I had that um, content and I wasn't really going to use it, but now that this vlog hasn't gone to plan, we've got the content. So I thought I would improvise and do like a why I moved to Melbourne or tips and tricks on moving to Melbourne. For anyone who's ever thought of moving over, I hope it's helpful and I hope you guys enjoy. Take your hand, my dear, and bless them both in mine. You know you stopped me dead while I was passing by. And now I beg to see you dance just one more time. Go on Any free rides? Okay, you want to go ask how much? Or any free samples or something? <laughs> okay, so another quarter. It's not going to be as intense. So. <laughs> so I moved to Melbourne about two years ago now. It's been two years. So if you've seen the last vlog, you would have seen that I lost my job. And from me losing my job, I was just at a point where I was just like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my life. I didn't know what I was doing. I saw Melbourne as more opportunity, something different, some change. I didn't have anything to lose. I didn't have any commitments. So yeah, just took the leap and it's only across the ditch. So what's the worst that could happen? Also, I should say disclaimer, everything I talk about and everything I say is going to be from my experience. So um, your experience could be different. Different. This is from my personal experience, so yeah. My dad lived in Melbourne and I just reached out to him and said, hey, can I move over? Can I stay with you? He was like, yeah, come on. So <laughs> come on, come on over. I literally moved like a couple months later and I haven't really looked back. So in terms of jobs over here and in terms of money and money, 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 I think that's why a lot of people move over is for the money. And that was one of the reasons I moved over. I just heard the money was good. So I was like, yo, let's go. <laughs> very money motivated so I moved over and I think I had about a week off and then I kind of was getting bored um, because I'd been working literally since I was like I think I got my first job when I was like 13 at Jester's, Jester's Pies but yes yeah, so I'd always been working didn't really have time off so except for when I lost my job and um, I had a week off which was great and then I started getting bored and I was like I'm just gonna apply for a job 
um, and I applied for pretty much anything and everything and I landed my first job. I was actually at a health insurance place and it was just anything, like just any job I took. Like, if you want any job, you'll definitely get it, but if you're very specific, like I left the health insurance job and then I had a bit of time off um, and was looking for very specific jobs like flight attending um, or just anything better than <laughs> selling health insurance so when I was going for specific jobs it was like I think it took me like a good month I mean in terms of pay to be honest so at the health insurance job I was full-time I really didn't see a pay difference compared to what I was getting in New Zealand um, and I was working five days a week from like 10 to 6 excuse me are you a vending machine? Cause you're looking like a snack. What's here? The bin. Thanks for that. <laughs> Had you know all the annual leave and the sick days and all that, so that was like not much of a difference. But when I got like my flight attending and triple zero job, that's when I started seeing the difference because. Now this is what a lot of people don't know and they think oh I'm going to get paid more but it's like those little terms and conditions that you need to read. If those jobs I so flight attendants casual and then my triple zero jobs part time. So what that means is that I don't get annual leaves, I don't get sick leaves but I get paid more. And as well because I do night shift at triple zero I get the penalty rates and all that so that's the reason why I definitely see a difference in my pay, definitely a pay increase and I think that's the way to go about it. Like if you're not worried about your job security, because with both those jobs they can fire me just like that, but that doesn't bother me. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if you're not worried about that, then definitely go for those jobs because you get paid more. And then if you're going on annual leave, like whenever I go on annual leave, I just save a little bit more to cover my bills while I'm away, cover my rent and stuff. And then if I'm sick, like I'll have a little bit of money aside for, you know, rainy days and stuff like that. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Just here in uh, Melbourne Central Mall. That is not a good end. Yes. That was a good end. Huh? Been here a million times. Please what do don't you think? waste my time. <laughs> Tell them don't waste my time. Okay. Oh, yeah. Took us on a five million hour walk oh, around the city door. to look no, first at of all. malls. She was keen to go, and, and then we didn't buy we only started walking like five <laughs> seconds. Like, it's too far. It's too far. I'm, gonna die. I'm like, damn, bro, and we haven't even started. Well, I'm actually sick. So oh no, you're sick. sick. The, you said you were better this I've been morning. Sick for the last three Man. days. I said I'm okay this morning because I didn't want to spend another day in bed. But I didn't think he was going to take me on a cross country. You're like, oh. what are we doing? We're just having a rest from our cross country. Oh, was it a cross country? Some boost juice and resting wow. our feet. Is that a duration of the meal? Just dropping some wraps on this beat. Take it. Yo. I got with the tango mango crush. What'd you get? You don't even know. Oh, the no. energy juice. <laughs> we I'm went ready. for a boost. Oh, that's pretty cool. Why'd you bring us here? <laughs> we saw this Ferris wheel from a distance, so we came to see what it was. <laughs> it's just a kiddies thing. Yeah. I want to go on it. Mm. Poor thing. <laughs> 
Um, petrol, we all know, is cheaper. I think at the moment it's like $1.50. And when I was in New Zealand a couple weeks ago, it was like $2.50 or something. But in saying that, you definitely drive more in Melbourne. Like, everything's further um, than in, say, Auckland. But it's definitely much cheaper. And I love that it's way cheaper. One of the things when I moved over, people were like, oh, the food's not the same. And I noticed that when I was flying in New Zealand, when I came to Australia, like, I would notice the difference in food I'm just out here chilling <laughs> but now I think I'm just used to it so it doesn't bother me there is out west so I live in the western suburbs and in Leverton there's like a bomb as bakery it's called Charlie's Kitchen just being a plug you miss your bakeries because here in Australia they don't have like a dairy fish and chip shop bakery on every corner like they do in New Zealand and as well they've got the Kiwi Pacific store which has like all your Kiwi foods and your island foods as well and that's in Leventon as well so being a plug for you guys when I found those places like when I found out about those places I was just like I don't think I'm ever gonna go back to New Zealand <laughs> because I love my food and did you know that the Woolworths so here we've got Woolworths and back in New Zealand you guys have countdown but it's like the same like the logo is the same but yeah i thought that was interesting and same with hungry jacks so like everyone always tells me that it's different but i've done my research what has happened is hungry jacks and burger king are exactly the same thing but when they brought burger king to australia there was already a burger king here so the guy that owns burger king his name is jack and he's hungry <laughs> So that's why it's called Hungry Jacks. So yeah, housing is definitely much cheaper. Like you get more for less over here in Australia. I will say that. So we live out in the suburbs. So obviously the further you are away from the city, the cheaper it is for rent. And we pay less here and get more than what we were getting in Auckland. So for example, we've got five bedroom house with a double garage, um, two lounges and two master bedrooms with en suites and walk-in wardrobes and it's cheaper than um, back in New Zealand for just a standard three bedroom house. But yeah, obviously if you get more closer to the city it's going to be more for you. And just Melbourne in general is, Melbourne's amazing. There's always stuff to do, things are open 24-7, you know, buskers just doing cool shit. Like, there's a lot of cool shit happening, and it's very artsy, and lots of nice cafes and restaurants and stuff. Like, it's just real cool, and people are nice. And be prepared for people to mimic your accent when you say six, and when you say seven as well. I always get picked up on seven. I'm like, so many other things like tin or pen or bin, yeah, it's real fun, like I think it's funny. I guess the only downfall to the whole move that I've had is I've just missed my family and friends so much, like in the start it was real hard to not have my family because I'm from a big family as well and we're very family orientated, um, I was missing out on all the family events and I didn't have you know my family just to go visit all the time and stuff so if you can get used to that then you'll be fine but in the start it's hard but you start to get used to it and then it makes like when you go home it just makes it that much more special and I think you don't take them for granted as much as you used to like when you see them all the time you're just like oh whatever but when you go over on holiday you're there and you're present and you're grateful for everything so only down for family and friends aren't just a walk away a walk away a drive like down the road away there a plane ride away but yeah that's really the only downfall yeah. oh, 
Can't wait to see the masterpiece. Finna be lit. Hey guys, we're just getting our um, drawings, caricature, 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 caricature <laughs> drawings done by this lady here. This wonderful and, lady. And uh, people keep walking past doing it, it's so <laughs> looks good. <laughs> Like, looks at her and goes, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Look at this lady's work. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still here. Smile! 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 Okay, so this isn't like as in depth as you might want it to be, but only because if you really want to move over, like Google will be your best friend and just do the move because you don't really like need much. Like you don't need a visa to come over here. Like when you get here, you'll need a TFN number and that's like an IRD number you'll need for work. And I would recommend to get that as soon as possible because sometimes it takes longer depending on what what period like they say like 30 days to get your bank account so you can get paid and i just went with commonwealth because it was what everyone around me was with and i haven't had any problems with them just take your passport and i would recommend to just go in and take your passport and they'll give you a bank account i did it online and it just was a whole kerfuffle and then I ended up going in and they just did it on the spot and I was like damn I should have did this in the first place. To transfer your license over you need a certificate of particulars from New Zealand Transport whatever it's called. You need to book an appointment with Vic Roads here, go in with like your certificate of particular bank statement, F plus card, and then they'll do the transfer over. If you've been on your restricted in New Zealand for like two years or more, you go straight to a full here. Oh, you need a Medicare card, and that's just to, if you get sick, to go to the doctor so you don't get billed. I got my Medicare card like as soon as I got here, you need to go onto Centrelink to do that. And when you go see the doctors, you don't pay anything to see them. But whatever medication you need, you pay for that. And it's kind of it kind of works out the same because in New Zealand, I know you pay like a fee to see someone, and then when you get your medication, it's like subsidised. Well, here you don't pay a fee to see someone, but when you go get your medication, it's like not subsidised. <laughs> yeah, I would highly recommend to get that ASAP because when I moved over, I think I got sick for a little bit. No, it was a long bit actually. Just getting used to like, I don't know, the air and the change in the change of air. But that's all I can really think of off the top of my head. I hope this has been helpful to anyone thinking of moving over or just just to, good to know, I guess. Tell your friends and your family. <laughs> uh, Melbourne is also known for like the most livable city in the world. I think it was like seven years running. I don't know what years they were, but yeah, it was the most livable city in the world. So I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, if you're thinking of moving over, just do it. I would recommend it. Try it out. Do the damn thing, you guys. Just thanks again for watching. Obviously, I'm going to say subscribe, like, comment, share. <laughs> and yeah, peace and love. Stay grateful and stay productive. When you're done, I'll make you do the dance again. They say, dance for me, dance for me, dance for me. Oh, oh. There we go. Oh, that was me. They say, move for me, move for me, move for me. Hey guys, so we didn't get to finish off the vlogs because it ran out of battery, um, but we just finished dinner. But we wanted to show you guys our picture that we got, yeah. and we want you guys to tell us if you think it looks like it us. Look like it. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. What do you guys think? It made me look white. Does it look like us? Maybe come stand next to 
Does it look like us? Smile! I don't have my hair up anymore. <laughs> Smile! <laughs> but yeah, that's our drawing and that's our day. Yeah. And we're going to bed now. We're tired. Long day. Long we had day. the best pancakes ever. Yeah, well, dinner was on if you could, you know, wish you could. <laughs> wish you could see, but somebody ran somebody. the battery flat. Don't charge the <laughs> Okay, good night, guys. Pomarie. <laughs> What's that? <laughs>